Continuing on from the previous training video, the problem that we were running into is that when we wanted to look up the contact person for any one of these companies here, like let's go to record number three, like for Mirror Lake Sports, when I click on the contact button that the macro has been assigned to to open up the contact form, it doesn't take me right to this customer number 20. So when I click on it, it starts with the lowest one, 10, and then I have to scroll through until I get to 20, which is Marsha Benson. What we can do here instead is we can modify the macro that's been assigned to the contact button to include a where condition, where it compares the record in the current form and finds its matching record in the second form. What is it we're going to be comparing? Well, it's going to be the customer number. So when we go to the customer number 20 in this form and we click on contact, it'll match that up to the one in the contact form and only bring that one up. So to do this, to modify the macro, you can do it one of a couple of ways. You can either come over here, if you just have one macro, that was easy to find, just right click on it, go to the design view and it's right there, or close out if you have a lot of macros, instead of sorting through over in the navigation pane, it might be easier to simply right click on the form, go to the design view, right click on the button and bring up its properties, Go to the event tab, and there you go, on click, the macro that you assign to the button. So when somebody clicks on it or on click, click on its build button, and it opens up the macro. And so we're looking at the open form again. So when you open it up, we want to be able to go to the where condition where a field in this form is going to match the other field in the next form to bring up those matching records, as it were. And you can see that when you hover over the where condition field, it gives you a synopsis of what it's about and gives you an example. But let me go ahead and copy and paste my code in here, and then I'll explain it. Now, when it comes to working in the macro here, if your expression or your code is a lot longer than what you can fit in here, but you want to see all of it, remember we've got the zoom feature. And when you right click here, it doesn't give you the option. So you want to remember the shortcut keys, which is Shift F2. And then you can go ahead and zoom in and see, well, more of it than you can if you just looked in that smaller field and then have to scroll over to be able to see one portion of it instead of all of it. In any case, looking at this where condition, I want to compare the customer number in one form to the customer number in another. Now, why do I have customer number over here? And then I have, well, some coding before it gets to the other customer number here. Well, the first field, customer number, is the field name for the new form opened. So when we open the new form, the contact form, it's looking at the customer number, where in that new form, we have to backtrack and go back into the forms. Well, because over in the navigation pane, access has to know where to look. So we want to look over into the forms of all the objects there out of the queries, tables, and macros. And in the forms, what form are we looking at? We're going to look back at the customer info form, the form that we're coming from, and compare that with the customer number in that form to the new form that we're opening, the customer number there. And that's it. When you're done, just go ahead and click Save, close out, and let's right click, go to the form view, and let's go to record number five, which is customer number 30. Click on contact. Hey, it brings up 30.